Okay, what is up, Moody Tribe? It's your girl Naja here, and if you're new, hello, what is up? Um, yeah, sorry, my hair is just a little out of whack. If you guys hear any like little music in the background, it's Daniel. He's listening to some music. I gave him some headphones, but like he has to listen to stuff loud, obviously. So this video is going to be a quick little video on my miniature collection because it's not even that big. I don't even know why I'm making this video, but I mean shit. It's going to be really cool to compare it to a further video of when my collection grows. So this is going to be a video on all of the vinyl records that I own. Now, um, I've had a record player for maybe like three years, but to be honest, I bought it when I was like a little hipster fuck and I just wanted a freaking record player and it has a Bluetooth embedded into it. So like, I literally just use the Bluetooth and that's it. But I broke it, okay, no, I think I broke the needle when I was moving into my first ever apartment. I dropped it on the floor, or maybe my old roommate dropped it on the floor, I don't really remember, but I dropped it on the floor and the needle broke off and I bought a new needle and it still didn't work. So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy a whole new record player. And I actually started buying records. So, now a disclaimer, some of these records were given to me as a gift. So some of these I really don't even listen to. Um, I've listened to a few of them or I have like one or two songs that I actually like on the album. So if any of you guys um, know any of these records and you're familiar with them and you feel like there's a song that I should listen to on it, let me know because I am open for suggestions. So the first record that I'm going to show is my pride and joy. Um, I actually bought this record for my boyfriend as a gift, but we both enjoy it. It's the Starboy album. Um, it comes with four discs, and the inside's pretty cool. You know, very Illuminati, very Illuminati. But it's really cool. And oh shit, what am I trying to slide out? What the fuck? But yeah, like this is about this is probably the most expensive record that I bought. I want to say it's around like forty dollars, maybe thirty-five, forty dollars. I bought it off Amazon. All the records that I buy, I'm gonna put a link in the description below so that you guys can go and buy them. If you have Amazon Prime, this shit is a lick because I've seen these at like Best Buy and Walmart for maybe like $45, $50. Oh my God, Jesus, no. So yeah, this is our favorite record. Like we literally play this all the time. When we have company, this is what we play. When family comes over, this is what we play. So yeah, this is the shit because there's something for everybody on this, so yeah. Um, okay, so I've been keep this is, oh my god, I put this in so poorly. Who did this? I feel like Daniel did this. Well, it doesn't want to go back in, so what the fuck? Okay, anyway, I have the Black Keys record. This is my favorite album that they have. Um, I really like Tighten Up. I really like, um, Lies, of course, because I watch True Blood and I tried to read some of the books and failed. Um... This is a really good album. It came with a little CD, so it's really cool if you have a car that takes CDs. Um, I, I don't even know if my car takes CDs, like what the fuck. But it's really cool. It comes with a miniature CD and one record, and it's really nice. Like when you're just lounging in the house and like, you know, you just want to listen to a record, drink some coffee, maybe do the dishes. Like this is one of these records. Or if you're having one of those nights where you just feel like being a moody bitch. Like that's usually when I listen to this, when I feel like being a little moody bitch. I listen to the Black Keys. This record was actually pretty cheap. Like, I want to say this was about like, maybe like 15 bucks, I think. And sorry if you guys hear any thunder or anything. Like, it's hurricane season right now in Florida, so it rains a lot. Um, this is the first record that I ever bought, and it's an Alt-J album. Um, I really like the song Breeze Blocks and Tessellate and, um, Fitz. Fitz Pleasure. I really like this album a lot. I played, I overplayed this album when I first got it. It doesn't come with any CDs or anything. It has one disc and then um, just text and yeah, there's, there's not, there's not much that comes on it. It just looks like this. Here, I'm going to show you guys what comes in the Black Keys album, my bad. This is what's inside the Black Keys vinyl so the rest of these vinyls were gifts um this is a rolling stone album called some girls it was a gift from um the rest of these are all gifts oh wait no scratch that not all of them there's one more that i bought 
But um, this is a gift from one of my grandmother's friends, and I really like this a lot. I've listened to a few songs on here. I just like the different like little hairstyles and stuff that they give people. And then the back is really cool because it just looks like a vintage magazine type shit. But um, you can't open this. Like, hold on, I'm trying to get this shit out. It does come with this little thing. It's like a record cover. And then you just slip it inside, but the record isn't even in here because I'm just the worst, apparently. And it does have like the little Rolling Stone logo on there. Yeah, I'm the worst. I never put shit back in the fucking case. Get in your case. Ah, okay, so when you put it in correctly, you get the faces in the slots. Okay, this next album I bought from a flea market and I got it for about $18. It is the Magical Mystery Tour by The Beatles. It's my favorite. I would listen to this a lot when I was like cleaning and I need something a little bit, you know, uplifting. Now this is the original, here I'll show you. This is an original copy. It's actually worth a little bit more than $18, so I got it for a steal. This is the original album work. Like, look, the pages are like yellow, and some of the pages are missing. And it has like these cool pictures right here. And then this right here. So yeah, this was a really good find. I have yet to find any cheap Jimi Hendrix albums, but um, I just recently saw that uh, an album was on Amazon for like 15 bucks, so I'm about to go snag that shit. Okay, so this was another gift from my grandmother's friend. It's a Stevie Wonder album. And I haven't listened to this yet. On the inside, it has like, oh shit. It has all of the songs in here with all of the lyrics on it in the whole album. So you can sing along. You can sing along to the whole album. I really like the artwork on the inside. Like this is really neat. And yeah. Now I also have this album. This was also a gift and apparently this is only $2. I don't know who this is. If you guys know who this is, let me know. I don't really know. My grandma's a hippie and all her friends are hippies. So I'm not really sure who this guy is. Maybe I should give him a chance. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I never even took it out to play with it. Here, let me see. And it's just a record, so I, I don't know. This is another album that I was gifted who I have no clue who it is. This guy. Who is this? Who is this? He's salty. That's all I know, but I don't... Look at his face. This is disturbing. Who the fuck are you? Like, I don't know who this is. But um, I appreciate all gifts. The, the album cover thing is really unique, I guess. It says, Folk Blues Popular Experimental. Well, I'm pretty sure I might like it because I do like blues and folk music, so I don't know. But yeah, guys, that is all of my little collection. Like I said, hopefully in the future I will have more stuff. Oh my god, my hair. Get it together, boo. Get it together, boo. Hopefully I'll have more stuff to review for you guys. I, I want to go vinyl shopping, but I, I'm still apartment. Like, not apartment shopping. Interior design shopping. Okay. So... Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see my collection in the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and join the Booty Tribe by clicking that notification bell. Um, Again, I'm not really sure why YouTube is still like tripping, but they're not notifying y'all. So if you need to get notified, just go ahead and follow me on Twitter. And everything that I post from YouTube will go directly to my Twitter. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye.